modes of life. Yeah, I don't know what this means to you. It's an odd car, and but you don't get it in South Africa anymore because it's not quite that easy to put it on sale. So I'm going to explain to you why it's amazing and why I love it. This is an infinity. Let me get out of this thing and explain more about it. Ah, that's better. So that is an Infiniti QX80. Now, you know you get Toyota and then you get Lexus. Lexus is basically like a luxury version of Toyota. Infiniti is the same thing, but it's a luxury version of a Nissan. So this is basically a Nissan Patrol, but polished up, brushed his teeth, used some product in his hair, and I had a shower basically. So it's, it's a posh version of a Nissan Patrol. Well, I say that, but these cars did very badly in SA when Infinity launched them. I think they only sold for like maybe two or three years. And in 2019 now, you can't even buy one of these. They took them off the market because they were doing so badly. You can buy a vehicle like this, the Nissan Patrol, a new one basically. Not as polished up, not as luxurious I'd say, but similar thing to this. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I like this car a lot. Why? Because it is humongous. Like if you just take a look at the size of this thing. Well, that, um, yeah, cut. that's better. If you look at this thing, you think, you know what? Maybe this is the comparison to like a Lexus LX570 or maybe even a Toyota Land Cruiser VX200. And you'd be correct in a way. It is kind of the comparison to that. But this thing is humongous. And when I say humongous, I mean, it's gigantic. It's bigger than the Lexus and the Toyota. It's, it's longer, it's wider, it's taller also. And it's very different. You don't see them on the road because they were colossal disappointment and failure when, when Infinity decided to sell them. So I don't even think there's maybe 40 or 50 of these in South Africa, which makes it special. When you see one of these on the road, there's no mistaking it. People don't really know what it is because it's so unpopular, but there's no mistaking what this thing is. I'm gonna pop the bonnet. Let's have a look at the engine. You know, big car is probably nice. Big diesel engine, light on fuel. I'm sure it is, let's see. So, it's, a, it's not exactly a diesel engine, it's a, it's a 5.6 litre naturally aspirated V8 engine. <laughs> which is quite nice. <laughs> it makes 300 kilowatt, which is 400 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque. This thing weighs 2.8 tons, but it does 0 to 100 in like under seven seconds. I think it's around 6.5, 6.7. And this thing is humongous. When you step in it and drive it, it really feels mad because you don't expect it to accelerate the way it does which we shall now demonstrate with my face <laughs> this guy should not be doing that it's so big look at that 130 already 140 150 this guy is not meant for that how is it that fast <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be this fast, man. What even? Yeah. I'm sitting in the QX80. I don't know why I'm speaking in syllables this video. Have you noticed? I don't know. Anyway, the interior of this is very, very nice. Look, it's basically a Nissan. So this interior is very similar to the Nissan Patrol. But I'm not complaining about that at all. There's leather literally everywhere and very nice shiny wood. And it's all very good quality, very good materials. I do feel the center console is a little outdated. We don't need so many unnecessary buttons. The touchscreen infotainment system works reasonably well, but the system itself is quite outdated, quite old. It needs a refreshment. There is a new spec for this car in the US and that, but they kept it the same. I don't know why they didn't change it because it really needs an update. But you've got everything in this car. You've got heated seats, cooled seats, you've even got a heated steering wheel, you've got Bluetooth navigation, everything basically that you need. And I might say it's very, very comfortable in here. It's, I mean, really comfortable. The seats are extremely well padded and they are so soft and it's very spacious. Like, I haven't been in a car 
where I feel the driver and the passenger have been so far apart. The center console is literally like this big. It just separates you. So if you have an argument with your wife or your significant other, they are far away from you. So they can't hurt you, which is a good thing. This is one of the few cars that I actually use the step to get into because it's really that high. And I'm at the back now. Look, I'm about 1.8 meters tall, almost six foot, like like almost there. And I'm I'm a little fat, so I'm I'm quite a not an average size guy. I'm a little above average, and I have so much of room in here. I think this we can pull it down. Oh yes, oh cup holders in there. I wouldn't mind sitting here for a long time. I think this is a little low. If it could just be adjusted a little higher, that would be more comfortable. But I am very comfortable in here. You could fit a small rugby team in here comfortably. And at the back, I also have heated seats, my own air conditioning system. What do you call it? What's the word? My own climate control zone. I think so. Something like that. I can control the temperature at the back and two rear screens behind the headrests. So entertainment is provided. Make sure to watch Automotive Life or TAL. Even better. Oh, and did I mention it also has more seats at the back? Let me show you. So if we come to the back, this car is actually a seven or eight seater. All I know is it's got three rows of seats at the back as well. Open this thing up. This tailgate is humongous. It's gigantic. So the third row is up at the moment. If I just press the button, which there are many of, it's that side there. It's all electronic. There's buttons in the front as well as the boot to drop and higher the seat. So if I just hop off this side and I press these buttons, look at that. They just fold away. Although it takes a long time. So as soon as you realize you're gonna have more children, you can start pressing the button. And by the time your kids arrive into the world, the seat should be up because it does take a while. And then once you're done talking, there you go. I don't think they fall completely flat, but hey, pretty good job. So when I drive this car, I just, I can't help but smile. Like every time I drive this car, I just smile so much. It isn't the best driving car, obviously, but it's certainly not the worst. It drives really nicely. The steering is very nice and soft. The accelerator is quite responsive actually just like for any SUV it's surprisingly responsive there isn't a sport mode or any of that it's just the way it is this car is four-wheel drive it has 22 inch wheels and thinking the 22 inch wheels would actually give it a little bit of a harder firmer ride I don't think so it's really soft really comfy also and this car is great off-road also it is four-wheel drive and we've got a whole host of buttons here you can put in low range differential lock hill descent assist all of these fancy things so if you want to take this thing off-road it's gonna go very easily like a Land Cruiser like a Lexus fantastic thing off-road also but this car's got air suspension so it really rides very softly very smoothly it's such a refined car also and it's humongous you sit so high <laughs> like if you drive next to any kind of bucky like a toyota hilux or ford ranger they like they like here for you like i kid you not it is this high and it's so nice because i'm taller than you and this car's engine suits the car really well i'm actually happy it doesn't have a different kind of diesel engine or anything although it would be lighter on fuel but this engine is just so silky silky smooth no turbo charges or anything and 300 kilowatt like i said so 400 horsepower and 560 newtons that is not a small amount of power it's really more than adequate this car is quick as you just saw i think the top speed is maybe around 220 230 but i'm not going to try that and because this car is so big you'd expect parking to be an absolute nightmare but i'm telling you it's not as bad as you think because this car has full 360 degree cameras and reverse cameras and front cameras and enough cameras more cameras than we use on this channel it is nice to have all these cameras well i say nice it's it has to have them because you will bump this car if you don't have these cameras it makes life so much better and i'm not saying it's easy to park but i'm saying it's not really not that difficult to park faults for this car well on the interior i gotta say the buttons and that do feel quite far to reach i know that sounds like i'm being a little fussy but if you're driving and you're focusing to constantly reach literally my arm is fully extended now i, I can just barely reach the screen it's uh it's quite a stretch you know i can't really think of much else i mean it's heavy on fuel but <laughs> well 
okay it is quite heavy they claim 14.7 liters per 100 k's if you drive very nicely i think you will struggle to get 18 liters 17 liters per 100 k's if you drive like how we just drove with that acceleration video um you're gonna get about 30 liters per 100 k's which isn't ideal and this car has a 100 liter tank so you need the moolahs to buy this car you need the money pretty much sums up the drive of this car let's report back to TALHQ and finish up this video shall we it is different isn't it I wouldn't necessarily say it's a car for everyone because it's not but I do feel it's special because it's ridiculously heavy on fuel you're gonna lose so much of money when you buy it it doesn't really make sense to buy because it's so big it doesn't really fit anywhere properly that is what she said um, so <laughs> the thing about this car is that when you drive it it makes you feel special because of the size of it because of how high you sit it's just different other cars don't give you the same type of feeling and it actually genuinely drives very nice obviously there is a bit of body roll and things but overall it's a pretty good car to drive but like I said before it's more about how you feel when you drive this car and this car really makes you feel special when you drive it that's why I would buy one of these that's pretty much the video I know but ridiculous but drive one and let me know stay tuned for more